was Jesus. You don't know these things. I told somebody, I said, how come we will go to other nations of the world? We walk alone. Because we are not as known as we are on the streets in several places. Nobody wants to kill us. Nobody is after our lives. A man of God is, is, you see, armed security around him. I was preaching at Boma some years ago. And they carried me up. Landed me on the ground. You were there? Okay. He's raising, did you join them? <laughs> He's raising up his hand. <laughs> you were in the meeting. They carried me up. Landed me on the ground. Over 200 people on top of me. I was saying, Jesus, Jesus, I receive, I receive. He said, hold him, hold him. One will just come and just dive, bah. Another will come, dive, bah. Hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him. Don't let him go. I was there. More than 10, 15 pastors were battling, battling. I would say, Jesus, help me. Jesus, help me. I couldn't breathe. I couldn't move. You don't know these things and you run your stupid mouth. And some, some Christians cannot even explain to them. They join them. Jerusalem kills his prophets. Dislocated. Thank God my wife remembers some. Hand, bone, twisted. Somebody pulling the hand. I receive. I receive. Not knowing that. <laughs> even, <laughs> not knowing that even if God is using you, you are still a man. Some believe just matching. If I want slap, one gave me pa. If that was deliberate, I don't know. Then you have no idea. He said, "Where are they? Where are they?" One day I came to this church alone. I just drove alone. That day I regretted. I came in the morning to preach something from you. I just drove a little kinder from my car. I was walking before I came down. Crowd. I was trying to find everybody was on me. I had to scream, you touch me, you die! <laughs> to save myself. But now, <laughs> nobody will die in Jesus' name. But you know what I'm talking about. I had to escape. Jerusalem kills the prophet. A man of God gives tight. They say, ah, he's giving the tight. Such a big tight. Is the money not still coming back to him? People's idea is that when a pastor collects that an offering, they put everything in his boots and he drives the money home. Are you not even stupid? What organization can you run like that and succeed? Can you run any office like that? Carry all profits, put in your car? You spend over one point something million every month to pay bill, light bill. Only light bill here is one point something million every month for light that they don't give. You spend over almost two million for diesel every month. Every life in the spirit you come to that you're attending, every life in the spirit, diesel is being burnt. This January, January for example, we are spending more on diesel than any time of the year. Because for 40 days we are appearing in church, morning, noon, evening. So we are burning diesels. Nobody is diesel rather, but nobody is talking about it. Jerusalem. So when people are attacking the church, you should stand. This is what you don't know. You keep quiet about it. Jerusalem kills his prophets. Many prophets have been killed. Many prophets have been wounded. Number one. Prophets are agents of recovery. Prophets are agents of recovery. Prophets of God are agents of recovery. God establishes. God raises them up. And agents of recovery. In first Samuel chapter 9 and verse 20, Samuel said to Saul, he said that the asses which were lost three days ago set not your mind on them for they are found wherever you are from the front to the back from the left to the right i come to prophesy upon your life upon your family upon your home upon your ministry as you live the sound of my voice what you lost is found what we 
was missing is fine. What the enemy stole is fine. I said it 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 is fine. Somebody, you need a prophet. That's somebody, you need a prophet. Everybody, Judges chapter 6, verse 8. Judges 6, 8. He sent a prophet to Israel, his own people. He sent a prophet to them. Exodus chapter 7, verse 1. But God said to Moses, Aaron shall be your prophet. Moses was a prophet that God spoke with face to face, yet he still had Aaron as a prophet. So even a prophet needs a prophet. We are praying a year waiting on the Lord. And I decided uh, on Friday I disappeared. Because me too, I need hand on this head. Went to my father. I said, oh. he said I was wondering you have not come. I thought you won't come. Ah, I would what? He said. He laid down the first time. I said, Papa, I need number two lane of hands, so Daddy. He said, which one? I told him something. He laid hands again. I told him one. He said, he said, we shall break it now. He said, we shall break it now. I knelt down again. Never sat down to talk to my father and the Lord. Never. Three times. Ah! When I stood up there, I was doing like this. L let me see that devil. Am I communicating here? So this is freshness of the air put hands on my ha head and put hands on my hand i was going i i saw some people i said Come, keep your your hands on don't shake me nobody shaking me now let me go and first of all shake my wife when i shake my wife my children i can now shake amen praise the lord so it's important that you understand they are agents of recovery number two prophets are agents of financial turnaround when your finances are in shambles second king 7 verse 1 the man of god said by this time tomorrow guess what he said he didn't say there shall be food or there shall be abundance of foodstuffs he said by this time tomorrow a measure of flam fine flour shall be showed for a shikel Two measures of barley for a shikel. He was fixing price on commodities and yet he was not an accountant. Fixing prices on commodity without checking the market provision. Oh, you are not following what I'm talking about. He hasn't checked the variations. He was fixing. That is a level of audacity. I'm not just telling you there's a borders, but I'm telling you by this time tomorrow, this shall be this, that shall be that, that shall be that. That is a level of audacious audacity. Can I say this to you? Can I tell you that by this time, the end of January, you are buying a land? <laughs> Can I tell you by this time, in February, March, you are building a church of your own as a pastor? Can I tell you by this time? Between now and June, I see buildings everywhere. I see cars everywhere. I see houses everywhere. I see millions come to your hand. Can I tell you by this time in April, you are not going to be discussing in Naira, you'll be discussing in dollars and pounds? By this time in three months, Mandala Roshada, Ikwa Dele Yada. By this time in three months, I see supernatural supply. I see supernatural supply. I see supernatural supply. I see provisions. I see supply. We don't serve a doctor. We serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God say yes, no man can say no. God lifts you up. No man can bring you down. God is on your side. God is on your side. God is on your side. Lift the red shot fire. Hey, hey. Ah. 
Financial turnaround. You will not beg for money this year. Amen. You will not borrow this year. Amen. You will not look for helpers this year. Amen. You will not be stranded this year. Amen. It doesn't matter the arrow of fire that your finances. Right now, I fire it back in the name of Jesus. One of my sons called me and said, Daddy, from January till now, that was around December something, and I was going to Thailand. He said, January till now, nobody has blessed me. It was either we just finished our amazing grace here, and I was rushing to Thailand, down the 14th or on the 12th or something. And I said, Meet me up in Lagos. And we met at the airport. I said, Kneel down, lay this on him. I say, anything that has been placed on you as this favor, I say, it's lifted as my hand lifts your head. In the name of Jesus. And he stood up. Was happy. Dancing around the airport. And left. I flew. Landed in Abu Dhabi. And I got a text from him. That night, somebody drove a new car to his house. That night. Pastor of Christmas gift. That night. In the morning of it, somebody called him. And the person was asking him questions. The person said, please send by 12, somebody will be at your gate. Somebody brought dollars. And the young man said, Papa, I believe in process. But now I know that when anointing comes, it's short process. It's circumvents process. Drove a car to his house. Packed it. Gave him the key. You have been a blessing. And I asked myself a question. Has he not been seen him before? How come it was that day he realized? Can I prophesy? Prophesy! As you hear the sound of my voice, ah. I speak over your finances. Mercy. Not next year. Not next two years. <laughs> this month of January, <laughs> you will count money. Amen. The God of heaven shall favor you financially. Amen. If your amen is loud, I'm trying to bless him. Show color of us. There are agents of recovery, agents of financial turnaround. Number three, there are agents of guidance. Guidance. No man can lead himself. No man can help himself. Luke chapter 16, verse 29. Abraham said to the rich, to the fool in hell, he said, they, In this world, your people have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. If they want to be guided, if they need guidance, they have Moses, they have the prophets. guide the answer not what you think not what you want but what god is saying you know until we get to that level i, I said this to us during the fasting i said there are some people who come to god with reservations eh? reservations reservations yet yeah, they come like they are seeking the face of god but they already have the, a pre-planned, concluded answer. Somebody sends me three names. Papa, I have three people I want to marry. One is Abigail. One is Faith. One is Ella. I said, go for Faith. Oh, Papa, Faith has bad character. Why did you send me the name? You see somebody who already has a plan? Faith has bad character. I can't do that. Say, but that's what God is telling me. Papa, no. What about the other two? Why did you add that one to the name? They're not really seeking God. 
A young man sent me three, three, four locations. One was New Jersey in America. The other was California. The third was Abba. And the fourth was London. I had Abba. I said, God said Abba. Papa, no, God forbid. Why did you add Abba to the list you sent me? When people claim to be seeking God, many are not really seeking God. I told you the literal translation of Romans chapter 12, verse 2. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That when I read it in the Greek, I translated what it meant was from you to for you to move from one spot to another spot, you need to be brainwashed. I screamed, brainwashed, not your will. Sometimes until you are face to face with challenges of life, you won't know you can react. Am I talking to somebody here? When you get to a point in your life, massacre Tala brothers. See, <laughs> if you are going to follow God and follow God well, you need guidance, unquestionable guidance. They say, Don't marry this person. You react. Why would they say I shouldn't marry? Don't fix your marriage so soon. You react. The brother came to me and said, I said, move your marriage from that month to another month. He said, ah. I said, no, move it from that month. I don't give month to marry, but your own. I just feel you should move the month. And he left church. He left the church. He left the church. Went to marry somebody. Do I care? God told me, never make anybody a priority who sees the church as alternative. They talk to you, you react, you leave. Such people should not be given committed assignments. When I saw him some years later, I said, I said, oh, I said your wife, so we are no more together. Hey, can I talk to you? I said, no, you can't talk to me. Can I see you? I said, you can't see me. Counsel is for your good. And I said, I said to one of our pastors last week, I said, by the grace of God, to the glory of God. According to what Amos said, is it Amos 7 4? Was, I think, I don't know, or 4 7. He said, I'm not a prophet or a prophet's son. My father is not a prophet. My father was not a pastor. But this same gospel of Jesus has carried me to over a hundred countries of the world. Gone to the end of Asia, Asia Minor, Asia Major. Gone to Malaysia, gone to all nations, gone to Papua New Guinea, gone to New Zealand, gone to uh, 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 Fiji Island, gone to Solomon Island, and there there is a place written, this is the end of the world. No, we are again. But this gossip, I'm counseling you, it's not for my good, it's for your good. Am I talking to somebody here? I'm one of the few preachers today in this country that nobody can say I'm preaching for money. Nobody. He said, tell them to guide you. You need guidance. And the guidance that is divine is the guidance that your flesh reacts to. Your flesh reacts. Your flesh reacts. I told the brother, I said, hey, where will you be tomorrow? Try and go and drop this. Ah, sir. I'm carrying, I'm carrying my wife to the cinema. I said, okay. Ah, hey, yeah, sorry. I didn't know she's, she's paralyzed. I said, yeah, sorry. I didn't know your wife is paralyzed. He said, no, God, God forbid. I said, so you have to carry her. You are carrying her. To the cinema. So the assignment of God you are carrying her. She can't go alone this time. You are carrying her. So the assignment of God can wait. So you can go to a cinema and come back. I said, forget about it. These are, these are issues. I said to someone, I said, them saying you cannot pastor that church nobody has anything against you it's your reaction that they are waiting for i 
I gave a story to one of my sons who, who needed to get a new choir mistress. I, I told you the story. He needed to get a new choir mistress in his church. Daddy, there are two committed daughters in church. I want one as a choir mistress. I said, keep telling both of them to wait after service for four Sundays. Keep them waiting for two hours, three hours. Don't tell them anything. The counseling people, let them just be waiting. The first one, when they waited, one was, ah, why is daddy say we should wait now? After a while, I left. Next Sunday, wait. The same person in between. Ah, daddy, we are still waiting. No, he said, go and wait. Ah, daddy, we are still, he said, go and wait. Well, daddy, I'm going somewhere. He said, okay, you can go. After first Sunday, he got back to me. I said, what was, what did you notice? He said, one of them kept complaining that she wants to go. I said, what about the other one? He said, she kept quiet till I said she should go. I said, that's the choir mistress of the church. The one that does not react. So that's the choir mistress. Guidance. Am I talking to somebody here? Number two. Is it number two or number three? Four. Three or four. It's all right. It's all right. Three things you do to profit. Let me tell you three things. I'll just tell you three things to profit. Number one, Second Chronicles 20 20. Believe in the Lord thy God, so shall you be established. Believe. Now, 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 listen. Who believes God here? Who believes in God? You believe in God? I'm going to show you sanctimonious sanctimonious mentality that we see as spirituality who believes in god who believes his prophet is it not that you see hands didn't come up the way it come up when i mentioned god now god said this believe the lord so shall you be established believe his prophets so ye shall what God was trying to say, you believe me, you, nobody can argue my existence to you. Nobody can make you doubt how real I am. Proverbs 14 verse 1, Proverbs 53 verse 1, the fool said in his heart, there's no God. Only a fool we argue the reality of God. He said, the way you believe in my solidity and my reality, believe a prophet like that. And when you believe a prophet like that, you cannot stand around where anyone is critical of what you believe i don't have two fathers in the lord i don't have a mentor and a father i don't have a mentor a teacher one i listen to one i hear from one i learn from and a father many of us are confused Confused. Say this one is my mentor. This one is my father. This one once in a while his ministry blesses me. This one is my father. They are confused. That is why with all your work with God, there's nothing tangible to show. I don't have too many voices. One. I don't have too many voices. I don't go to too many places. I don't listen to people. One. My father and the Lord has written over a hundred books. Over a hundred. One time I chattered all. Have I read all? I have not. Did I buy all? Yes. I must be frank with you. There are too many. As I'm talking, I might be writing. As I entered this office, I met him writing. I said, Daddy, you are still writing? He said, Yes, oh. You have to keep writing. You have to give God a reason to keep you alive. You have to give God a reason to keep you alive. Believe! How can somebody attack a prophet, a minister? When I say prophet, I'm talking of gifts of God, ministers of God, who have been a blessing to your life. He said, mm. You are just looking, you oh. Know, that's where I worship Shao. Hey. Mm. 
nobody can has will criticize my father and the lord to me do you know why i will not even wait to hear what you have to say i'm not waiting to hear what you have to say i'm not waiting to hear eh, but baba eh, shut up Acts 23 verse 5 Thou shalt not speak evil of the ruler of thy people 2 Peter 2 10 Thou shalt not speak evil of dignitaries Help me test seven people Believe the prophets Acts 23 verse 5 Thou shalt not speak evil of the ruler of thy people The third thing you must do to prophets, sow to them. Sow to them. First Samuel chapter 9, verse 7. He said, What do we have that we might give this man? Who are they talking about? Samuel! What shall we bring to this man? First Kings chapter 17. <laughs> First Kings chapter 17, verse 10. <laughs> Elijah entered the place, saw a woman gathering sticks to eat. Elijah said to her, bring me water. That one is easy. <laughs> Verse 11. <laughs> he said, bring me bread, I pray thee. A morsel of bread in thy hand. Verse 12. The woman said, as the Lord liveth, I have not a cake, but a handful of meal in a barrel, little oil in a cruise. I'm gathering two sticks that I may go in and dress it for my son, that we may eat and die. Okay, go on. I'll explain later. Just go on. Verse 13. Fear not. Go and do as thou hast said. Make me therefore a little cake first. Bring it unto me. After, make for thee and thy son. You are going to say this prophet is a 419. I said I don't have. You said bring the one you have and make for your son. Go on, go on, go on. Bring it up again. The battle of me shall not waste, neither shall the cruise of oil. oil. Go on, verse 15. And she went out and did according to the saying of Elijah. She and he and her house did eat many days. She and he and her house. The Bible only said she had a son. Where was her house? When she was poor, only her son identified with her. When money came, her household came. Failure is an orphan. Success has many relatives. Failure is an orphan. And when you hear things like that, you ask yourself a question. If you do that today, They thought, said the Lord, Pastor, how much, how much do you have in your account? He said, he said God, bring everything for me. <laughs> you hear all kinds of stories. How can a man of God, how can a pastor? My worry with people on social media is, with all you have been saying, has any church closed? <laughs> Close and none will close. Elijah. Now, even me, when I read that part, I was sympathetic and I felt angry. A woman is telling you she, ha she and her son will eat and die. You say it doesn't matter. Bring first. Ah, uh -uh. prophet, prophet to a prophet to. Sometimes when God is leading you, he appears wicked. You fast, 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 fast. He appears heartless. He appears insensitive. What heaven wants to check is your undivided loyalty.
one of my sons he has churches in 23 countries he was looking for who was going to be his american overseer he's a Ghanaian, so he was to pick them from ghana from two, two of the branches he said who do i send that i'm confused this one is good this one is good i said the first thing you do transfer the two of them to the headquarters let somebody take over their churches he says ah there'll be reaction i says either you want the reaction now or you get the reaction later pull two of them to the headquarters he put the two of them to the headquarters you have been say report they sent two people from the headquarters to take over the churches when they came one came with his bible to see pastor in the office the other came with his wife and his children See, we have been called to the headquarters. Say, we, are, we, we don't know accommodation, provision. The other came with his Bible. Sir, what did I do? I saved the branches, his father's house. What did I do? The other came with his family. And he called me. He said, they're in my office now. I said, how did they come? He said, one came with his Bible to ask me questions. That has he offended me? Has he done? Said, the other came with his wife and his two, or two of his children. And they came to ask me for accommodation i said that is the man for america the one that is sold out he believes this is the final place send the other man to his branch that man didn't know when he came out of i don't say no no nothing you are going back to your branch thank you sir thank you sir the next he heard ha ah, ah. ha it was me and him that came that day how come he has gone to america and the pastor told them and he broke down and began to cry Am I teaching you something here? God will first lead you round before he leads you in. You must march round Jericho before you enter into Jericho. But no matter how God leads you round, he can't lead you wrong. I'm spending too much time on the prophet. I'm wasting your time, right? Look into you. Number one, I said to leave, look on the prophet. Number two, look inwards. The seven of that portion, Numbers 21, they said to Moses, We have sinned. Child of God, I need you to have a proper understanding and a proper mentality and mindset. You can be wrong. When you are wrong, admit you are wrong. We have sinned. God said to Saul in 2 Samuel 15, I think 2 Samuel 15, he said to Saul, when thou was little in thy own eyes 13 17 or 15 13 or something when thou was little first somewhere 15 17 i think when thou was little in thy own eyes first somewhere 15 i think verse 17 bring that up when that was little is that is that the right man first samuel 15 17 right is it correct when that was little where don't eyes the best form of examination is self-examination second corinthians 13 verse 5 examine yourself whether you are still in the faith know ye not yourself christ lives in you except ye be reprobates talk to yourself check what you are doing they say we have seen this thing i'm doing is it right As a young man you are spending money on immorality 
and your wife at home will have to beg you for money look into yourself you are a young lady you have been in relationship with three different people and you are giving yourself excuse this one promised to marry me but this one takes care of me look into yourself advise yourself I told a story yesterday I think I mentioned it twice when we were younger myself and my brother I would used to stay with somebody my mom was not too fine so they said our noise our play ball everything so we'll come back from school they'll take us there so she can rest and we were staying with this man they don't give us food when we want they don't give us the quantity of food that we want they don't give us the kind i don't like no ever this make i don't like it at all i've never eaten it for over 10 years i don't like it and my not liking it is by choice it's because growing up i ate it too much i ate it till i ate it they'll give us that thing so we get angry so we say how do we punish this man now my brother's name is raman i've been called papa since i was a child so we decided that anytime the man calls us we we'll wait for him to call us five times before we answer the man will shout papa raman we'll look at ourselves one papa raman we we'll say two we don't come out we are answering for him papa raman we say three papa ramano we say four where is papa raman five sa 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 but one day we have to tell ourselves if this man was our biological father is this how we are going to treat him we change we now reduce it from five to three papa raman one papa raman two papa raman three sa, sa, sa. You, you have to advise yourself this thing i am doing just imagine somebody some people work at night these are christians addiction to smoking addiction to alcohol alcohol some men addiction to sex because of you your wife is sleeping with trousers because she knows you in the middle of the night that's a one hand will touch her somewhere middle of her sleep behaving like a spirit husband the woman is tired can't i rest okay when i'm awake you say no you don't understand you don't understand you are a doer a doer not of the world you've got to control yourself because just imagine lent season time of fasting you have to wait on the lord will you die imagine somebody asking me a question essa essa i want to ask a question if people are fasting can they do something i say shut up shut up of all questions to ask of fasting is do something is do something you didn't ask me people are fasting can they sow seed if people are fasting can they walk in the church if people are fasting can they do something say shut up sit down there what is that thing that you are doing that you need to change Proverbs 29 verse 1 he dies off to reproved but yet had net his neck shall die solid suddenly and that shall be without remedy admit you are wrong there's a company called Samsung you know Samsung you know Samsung they did a phone a Galaxy Note phone is it S7 and there were issues with the phone they openly admitted their error and recalled one million piece of the phone back they say if you have the phone i said so return me to the nearest dealer and get this are you following me return the a whole company do you know the integrity do you know what was at stake you know somebody can even sue them if they agree that they are wrong 
that is the secret of great men they record one million look inward number three the bible says and they brought a serpent on a pole what did that pole represent the pole represented the cross john chapter 3 verse 14 even as moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness so shall the son of man be lifted up look onto the cross look to the cross number one look to the prophet number two look inwards number three look to the cross the cross is the end of pain anything you are going you are going through right now the price has been paid on the cross of calvary if you are going through sickness in your body the price has been paid on the cross of Calvary. If you are going through afflictions and oppressions, retrogression, the price has been paid of Calvary. If you are going through any form of barrenness, barrenness in your body, barrenness in your job, barrenness in all you do, the price has been paid on Calvary. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 14, blotting out the handwriting of the ordinances that are against us, that are contrary to us. He took them out of the way, nailing it to the cross. When Jesus said in John 19 verse 30, when he said it is finished, he was saying that your sickness is finished, your affliction is finished, your confusion is finished, your hardship is finished. In life, you will meet two kinds of serpent. There is the biting serpent and there is the lifted serpent. You will meet two kinds of serpent. There is the biting serpent that brings confusion and there is the lifted serpent that gives direction. As the Son of Man was lifted in the wilderness, when he said it is finished on the cross, it was finished. Hear this. The Bible says, and when Mary, when they entered, they saw a man. They didn't know it was Jesus. He was dressed like a gardener. Do you remember? Dressed like what? A gardener. He says, supposing him to be a gardener. Hey, hey, what is a gardener doing by a graveyard? What he was doing when man fell, he lost the garden of Eden. But when Jesus died, he dressed like a gardener to take man back into the garden of Eden. Child of God, we are back to Eden where we can look at animals and give them names. We are back to Eden where we can make decrees and they come to pass right there in Eden. The Bible says anything Adam called the animals that was the name thereof we can call things those things that be not as they they were you can comfort your prosperity you can comfort your abundance you can comfort your promotion you can comfort your success child of god look to the cross don't look at the medical report look to the cross don't look at the economy of your nation look to the cross don't look at the tithes and the offering in the church look to the cross what have you been told what have you been told that in your family nobody rises Gideon said my father's house is the least in Manasseh what is Manasseh Manasseh was the last born yet his father's house was the least in the last born so Gideon was saying I am the least of the least Manasseh is last born inside that last born my father's house is the smallest from the least of the least he became a mighty man of valor mighty man of valor am i communicating here am i communicating the cross nothing can stop you nothing can stop you when you understand the price the mixed vinegar they gave him to drink he drank your bitterness they put a crown of thorns on his head he bled for your royalty they tore his clothes 
and they tied it around his waist naked he went through price for your nakedness he died at 33 and a half he lived short that you might live long listen to me the cross has handled it all the cross is the impression why is the devil angry at you anytime the devil sees you he remembers the cross he remembers his defeat because of the cross someone is working out free Amen. because of the cross someone is working out free be on your feet be on your feet tell your neighbor look and leave Say that to five people. Look and leave. Look and leave. Let me take one prayer. Shakata Laras. Direction. It's a new year. If there's anything you need this year, amongst others, is direction. He said, when thou was a child, ah, Mahade, thou needest someone to guide you. But when thou art old, thou needest no guide. When thou was a child, thou needest some man to guide you. But when thou art old, thou needest no guide. Does that tell you something? When thou was a child, thou needest some man to guide you meaning for you to receive guidance you must have the heart of a child samson held onto the pillars and he said a young lad led him a young lad led him Lord, I receive direction this year. Uh -huh. I reject confusion. Uh -huh. I receive direction. I reject confusion this year. I receive direction. He said, Thou, they have Moses and the prophet to guide them. Direction. Trust in the Lord thy God. Proverbs chapter, is it 6 verse 3 or 3 verse 6 of Proverbs? Trust in the Lord thy God, lean not to thy own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. 3 verse 6, in all thy ways acknowledge him, yeah, he shall direct your path. We are going to take that prayer. I receive direction, I reject, I reject what? You will say it loud and clear. My father, my father, my father, my father, my father, as I begin to pray, as I, as I begin to pray, I will receive direction, I will receive direction, I reject confusion, I reject confusion this year. This year, open your mouth, come to pray. Please subscribe to the Demi Fruitful channel.